Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Now, to piggyback off of uh, last week's episode, in which I said, uh, let's talk about not settling, like never settle. So I was like, you know what? That's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be talking about the fact that you should never settle. Because that's the thing, you know? I think that most people that watch these Monday Motivation videos on a regular basis, you know, one of the things that might be going wrong you know with with their picture is the fact that they've already settled you guys have already settled I mean I, I can understand that because I myself have been there before I remember um, you know there was a point in my life when I was uh, always complaining and upset about my life situation but when uh, looking back at the the bigger picture it was basically because I settled that was basically it you know what I mean basically because either you know I settled for the fact that um, sure I didn't have what I want but I had what I needed and um, even though I wanted all these big awesome things for my life you know what ended up happening was the fact that I was never you know willing to take that extra step to go get it because again I was comfortable I was all right I was, I was I was comfortable enough and that's the thing you know what I mean like it's it's all about you know I, you guys already know I talk about getting out of your comfort zone you know get doing uh, you know getting off your ass and doing it you know there's a bunch of shit but the reality is is that you know it's all about never settling down I mean never settling never settling yeah settling down as well <laughs> kind of you know but it really is like about never settling because look let's just fuck it you know I already said it ne never settling down even if you do settle down with a partner with somebody you know you still have to put a lot of work into that it's not just again you can't just like uh, you know fall asleep on your laurels and just you know hope that things are just gonna work out and turn out and be awesome because that's usually not whatever happens you know what I mean usually you know once you uh, are comfortable in your relationship you know whatever that is whatever relationship you have out there business personal um, whatever you know once you get too comfortable you know that's when things start fucking happening you know in a bad way in a negative way because you you yourself you know you or whoever you know the people within the, this relationship get so comfortable that they will they won't do anything to rattle the ship you know they would rather trade that you know comfortability comfortability you know over um actually you know improving getting better you know acquiring what they want what they need you know taking those uh, steps which they know they got to take yeah sorry a little distracted with uh people driving there um but you know, you know that's that's basically it you know what i mean it's like when you have that mentality of never settling um, that's when you know a lot of people look at you and you're like oh man you're obsessed oh man you know you can't you know stop thinking about XYZ you can't stop doing XYZ and that whole thing and and the thing is is begin because again you're, you're never you never settle down look let me give you a personal you know um uh, you know a way in which I, I'm constantly uh, being you know being uh, confronted by this so for anyone out there that watches my videos like literally every day by the way shout out to you guys love you guys you know I want to give you guys a major shout out because I know a lot of you guys watch my videos all the time but you know there's a special few of you that watch me literally every single day and uh, to to those to you guys out there I want to give you guys a big thumbs up and a shout out but anyways um, as I was saying, yeah, so I mean for, for all you guys out there that, that have seen me or been following me for a while, you guys have seen me, you know, gradually improve all the time. Sometimes I improve a little more than others, you know, some, but for the most part I'm, I'm genuinely improving and especially when it comes to, um, uh, you know, the videos that I'm making for my channel, the ones that I make for my clients, and so on and so forth. And the thing is, is basically because I never settle. You know, the minute that I start getting too comfortable, meaning the minute that I start getting too good at doing these videos, what do I do? I got two choices. Either, you know, just put my head down and continue that same routine and pumping out, you know, the same old thing all the time. Or do I really, you know, decide to challenge myself? 
and start making better content. You know, learning more techniques. Like, uh, for example, if you guys notice, sometimes, you know, back in my past, you know, my videos are shaky as fuck a lot of times. And um, I don't really have the equipment, you know, to, to um, kind of better that situation at the moment. But I do have um, editing software, which can and kind of like help the situation a little bit. And for the longest time, I just, you know, never tried to fix the, the shaky video just because it, it, it was, I was too comfortable. I was okay. You know, most of you guys, you know, were always like happy with, you know, just listening to me or, or whatever. And, and you guys never really minded for the most part, or at least that's the impression I got. But eventually I'm the one that started to mind. And so then I was like, well, what are you gonna do about it, Jose? Are you gonna just keep making these uh, shitty videos that you're not happy with anymore? Or are you gonna improve? And sure, it's gonna take a lot longer. Sure, it's gonna be a lot of uh, um, you know hard nights. Look, I'm gonna tell you straight up, you know, like like uh, if you guys remember just a few weeks ago, I was ahead. I was making videos, you know, like days, weeks ahead of time. Now because I've I've uh, toned, you know taken it back and started challenging myself and and um, working harder in order to create what I really want to create. You know, today is Tuesday morning. I woke up at 6 a.m. today. Um, I went to bed like at 1.30 in the morning. Why? Because I was still editing and uploading the Cuba video for Tuesday. Yeah, just a few hours short of the deadline. You know, the deadline being 4 in the morning, my time. Um, so, again, you know, like I decided to just make it fucking happen. You know, I could have easily, you know, created a shittier video. I could have easily, you know, published, you know, been done earlier. I could have easily been doing a lot of other things that would have made my life easier. But then in turn, it wouldn't, I, I would not be happy with the work that I did. And, you know, the thing is that I learned that from the, being, being a chef, you know, and how do I say, how did I learn that? Well, not, not the easy way. You guys ever watch like Chef Ramsay or any one of these chefs? All right, uh, hold on a second. I, I want to say, I, I don't want to, hold on one second. Hold on. All right. And we're back. All right. Sorry. I'm just trying to um you know get this whole um anyway sorry like i was saying <clears throat> so you know the whole chef ramsey thing you know what i mean like i i learned under, under a lot of guys like him uh, trying, uh whatever i was trying to cross the street but anyways going back to the whole chef ramsey thing hey guys i was supposed to put a chef ramsey little snippet here so we can have a little laugh but actually youtube decided to block my video and get me in trouble so i had to record this and then re-upload it so uh, just to let you know but anyways thanks youtube love you all right on with the show i learned into under under a lot of guys like him so what does that mean that if it wasn't done specifically perfect to their standards i had to do it all over again and do it over again and do it over again and over and over you know what i mean like until Eventually, I made whoever the hell was my boss happy. And, um, you know, that's basically how I got trained, um, you know, for life. Um, literally, from a very young age, I was uh, living that kind of life, you know, training under that kind of life, you know, whether it was under my father, um, which was, uh, again, strict in a very good way because I'm beyond grateful that that's who he, he was and, and how I was raised. Um, and then all the way back, you know, they're going into the kitchens and stuff like that. All right, hold on, hold on. Anyway, so yeah, and so and uh, going back into the whole kitchens, you know where, you know, I had to go above and beyond my already um, awesome skills in order to just satisfy the needs of my boss at the moment. And um, you know, just because of that hard corners. Let me see, can we cross or whatever? But anyways, uh, yeah, so just because of, you know, that hardcore nature of mine. All right, one second. Excuse me, guys. Thanks. So, you know, just because of that hardcore... Oh, guy on YouTube. That's right. How's it going, guys? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, just because of all that, you know what I mean, that I've... Um, um, by the way, this is also why I like to live out here. You know, now, now thinking about it on the the long-term way why I like living out here is because you know most of you guys that watch my videos end up staying in this touristy area so it's like you know there's a more of a chance of you seeing me I'm part of the tourist attractions out here I'm about to start getting in contact with Merida uh, tourism uh, whatever so maybe uh, they can start giving me or some royalties or something yeah sorry 
gonna help myself. <laughs> All right, back to what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, you know, you know, the thing is that, like, you know, for me, you know, I've, I've always had that like hardcore training. So, you know, no matter what, even if once I start getting a little bit too comfortable, there's just something inside me that eventually um, just um, boils over and makes me want to do it better and awesomer and all that good stuff. I mean, look, we could go just um, to like the Cuba videos. You know, one thing is that when I'm making these videos and just talking and like all this other crap, but when I was doing the Cuba videos, you know, I was really trying to, I'm really trying to like make something really, really good and nice and awesome, you know, and all that good stuff, you know, uh, to the best of my abilities. And the thing is that, you know, that's what I was doing the first several episodes. But then after a while, I was like, well, wait a minute. You know what I mean? I know I can really make this better, you know, by, um, you know, adding enhancements, you know, to, you know, making it look better, making it um, feel better, you know, the music, like all this other crap. And, um, and, 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 and to me, it's like, it's funny because as I publish these more, more of these Cuba videos, they actually, by the way, if you want to watch the Cuba videos, stay tuned to tomorrow. Every single Tuesday, I upload a, a new Cuba video. But I mean, you know, when I was first making these Cuba videos, they were getting a lot of views and they were great and awesome. But then, you know, I'm already at episode six, you know, or whatever, seven, eight, I don't even know. And um, it's funny because sure, the videos are getting way, way better, but now I'm getting way less viewers. And so, you know, to most people, that's like a huge, major deterrent you know it's like a huge i mean again i deal with this with clients all the time you know that i'm teaching them how to use instagram how to use a you know a lot of these marketing techniques and then they just get discouraged because they they only get a few likes you know and and it doesn't matter who you are if you're starting out and you get two likes that's too too little if you already if someone established and you get 100 likes and then all of a sudden you get 200 likes it's still too little and, and it's all that stuff you know what i mean it's um which is fine that's the kind of like the mentality you should have you know never settling never you know always wanting more and always knowing that you can get more but it's all because of you and your hard work and your mentality but the point is is that you know people get discouraged a lot you know what i mean because they understand you know like first of all right off the bat they think that you know they can just do xyz and it's going to improve everything overnight but then once they realize that they got to do this over and over and over again and it's uh it's a, actually a challenge and then all of a sudden they got to embark on this major challenge it's something that it's um you know going to be coming it's going to be something that all of a sudden now you know what i mean like when uh when people start, you know, open up the Instagram account and doing that whole thing or opening up the new uh, marketing or social media, whatever, um, you know, just like anything else, you start, you go into it very illusionized, you know, very like, oh my God, you know, thinking of all the what ifs and what could be and what will be and all this shit. But then after just a few days or a week, all of a sudden you're brought back down to earth and most people just get very discouraged because... You know, they were comfortable at the very beginning, comfortable accepting it. You know, the whole thing was, you know, they were under comfort the whole time up until the moment comes for them to realize the fact that, okay, sure, it was comfortable now because you were learning it. It was fun. It was this. It was that. But you're only getting like five likes. You want to get 50 likes? You want to get 100 likes? You want to get 1,000 likes? Well, not only do you got to post every day, but you got to make awesome content. You got to like really put in that work. You got to get uncomfortable. And that's the thing. You know, once people realize that after a few days or a week, then all of a sudden they start, you know, either giving up, um, feeling down, um, you know, everything, everything humanly possible that's like negative. And, um, you know, it, it's just, you know, it's all part of the, it's all part of the whole thing. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, again, never settle guys because if you never settle what the thing is is like this we all settle me included we're, we all settle all the time we all get comfortable all the time but again it's like once that happens what are you gonna do about it are you gonna remain comfortable and stop growing or are you gonna start making yourself uncomfortable to continue to grow Again, this is why I'm constantly making these videos. I'm constantly, you know, talking about all kinds of things. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly doing everything I do on my channel because it's like, not only, <laughs> not only is it, uh, 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. Man, there's a lot of people saying hi to me today. Anyways, but not only is it like, um, not only is it awesome, you know what I mean? Like, um, when you accomplish something and you grow and you make yourself better and, you know, the whole process, but it, it's, it's, um, it's a very accomplishing feeling, you know what I mean? To be able to, to knock out so much stuff and, um, you know, pat yourself on the back and know that you did it yourself. But again, the only way that these things are ever going to happen or you're ever going to, you know, materialize these things in your life is by getting uncomfortable, by learning how to get uncomfortable, by when you become too comfortable, you got to become uncomfortable. You know what I mean? It's, it's the same thing. It's really, it really always boils down to, 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 to a lot of the basic things I keep repeating over and over again. But it's really, you know, it, again, it's the same, same verbiage. Never settle. Never settle. So if you are with a girlfriend or a boyfriend and they're not everything you want them to be, meaning they're, you know, meaning you want a, a skinny girlfriend and you got a fat chick, listen, bro, you settled. Or if you want a fat chick and you're with a skinny girl, again, you settled. You know, it's very, but the thing is, you know, just something as simple as that is just because, well, you're comfortable. She, she keeps you happy. Or just the thought of being alone is, is, is enough to, to deter you from trying to find another partner and all this other shit, you know what I mean? Like, and it's the same thing with the, with the job. You know, for all of you guys out there that hate your fucking job, hate your fucking career, hate your life, hate, hate, hate. Listen, man, you guys have all the power. I get it that we all have to work. I get, I get that we all have to, you know, sometimes do things that we don't want to do. I get all that, but listen, when I was in a shitty job, Back when I was in Miami and I had full control of everything, you know what I did? You know what I did? In my free time, I spent it looking for another job. That's basically what I did. I spent my free time looking for a better job. Once, eventually, you know what I mean? As I was growing and becoming a better, um, a better chef, a better business person, a better a lot of these things, then all of a sudden, I, 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 could, I didn't settle for just a better job. No, I just said it was, I would tell my I would start, uh, you know, um, working um, with others, you know, opening up a business, opening up an endeavor, you know, starting something new, um, you know, that whole thing. You know what I mean? Like it's again, you know what I mean? I never settled. Sure, not every business was a success. Sure, not every time that I got a new job, it was a better job. Sure, all, all these things were true, but hey, guess what? A lot of times when uh, I would quit my shit job to just open up my own little business, I was making a lot less, but man, I was a hundred times happier. You know, or a lot of times, you know, I would leave an ex, uh, you know, a, you know, a job that was very, very high paying, but very stressful, you know, for another job that was, you know, paying me a little less, but not only did I not have any stress, but it was, you know, it was a fucking nice job. It was one million percent worth it. And um, then I would get, you know, um, the ability to become comfortable. Hold on, one other Yeah. <laughs> um, I would, I would uh, gain the ability to become uh, very, very comfortable. It's only, only, only to allow myself to now, you know, again, focus on trying to find even more money, a better job, better situation, and all that shit. And, and, and it's always gonna continue. As I get more comfortable out here in Mexico, for example, you know, what, what, I, what am I doing? Am I making, uh, am I getting more comfortable? No, I'm making myself even more uncomfortable and doing all kinds of things. And it's always, and it's and at the end of the day, it's always to my benefit. And, and, in, and now in this case, you know, of uh, me making these videos, it's now to your benefit as well. So it's like, it's like a win-win, you know, like literally. Look, on Sunday, I went to a Pueblo, um, you know, to go visit some of Christian's family. Um, that they, they had like a plantation out there. They got a couple bucks, and um, I was pretty scared. You know, of going. You know, like a, an hour some plus. You know, an hour plus bus ride, all the way to get to um, Teco. Teco. I think that was the place of where we went. Which is again, it's like a, you know, very far away in the middle of nowhere. I'm a city boy. You know what I mean? As much as I'm fucking, I'm all about like you know, t I can take on anything, and I'm a fucking animal and beast. You know, we all got our thing. You know, one of my one of my things is um, I'm kind of scared of open spaces. By the way, not anymore. I've already surpassed that. You know, I've traveled the whole country. I've been in the middle of nowhere countless times by myself. But in 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 the sense of what well, you know, uh, just going out there. You know, I'm in a completely different country in a completely different um, 
um, region of the world. I'm in a completely different, uh, you know, everything's uh, all different customs. Everything's different. Everything's beyond whatever. So now add to the fact that you're like, okay, let's go get on a bus. You know what I mean? And one of these, you know, buses, the ones that you see, you know, travel. I'm gonna, there's one coming now, so I'll show you. Look, the bus behind me. Get one, get on one of these buses and just go out to the middle of fucking nowhere on a Sunday, where you know, again, if you miss the bus on your way back home, you're you're staying out there in the middle of nowhere. All right. And then taking like an hour plus bus ride. You know what I mean? It's something like that. And that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, but how do I? How did I get over that? Listen, man. I grew some fucking balls, all right? And that's it, you know what I mean? And sure, my girlfriend helped me out a little bit, you know, by her telling me, he's like, oh yeah, I make that trip all the time. And then I was like, all right, I'm a fucking, you know, I'm a, piece, I'm a fucking loser if I don't fucking, you know, figure out a way to get down there because she, she does it all the time alone. Well, I have no excuse. Now, sure, granted, it's easier for her because she's more from that environment. She's more from the rural and rural environments and I'm more from the big city environment. Like she's deathly scared in a big city and, you know, in a bigger city, but I'm not, I'm more at home there. But the point is, it's all about, you know, what was I going to do? Was I going to fucking chicken out or was I going to fucking cry and be a baby and be all these things about it? No, I, I, I had to do, I did what I had to do in order to, you know, make that trip. And guess what? You know, um, a few minutes into the bus ride, I was already beyond happy. Um, and it turned out to be an amazing day altogether. It was beyond crazy. Now, I was gonna film that day, but it was raining and it started to get, you know, it was, uh, you know, nighttime, you know, with the time change, you know, uh, at five o'clock, it's already black. So, you know, I wasn't really able to film anything, but I was, I was ready to go filming. And uh, that's what, what made it a little more difficult for me because usually, you know, I use the camera as like a, like a crutch. I use it as a, like a handicap. I use it to help me, you know, get through things or do things. And all of a sudden, I didn't have my camera there either. So there was a lot of things that made it more difficult for me. But at the end of the day, I did it. And not only did I do it, but wow, was this whole new world opened up to me. Um, this whole new universe was opened up to me. And uh, everything was just so awesome now, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like, wow, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, 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 this is only a couple days ago, Sunday, today's Tuesday. But it's like, it made like a very, very big impact on me. And, and uh, now looking back at, by the way, this is the bus we went on, it was something like this. But now, um, now looking back at the whole situation, I'm like, fuck man, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really glad I did that. And, um, and, and yeah, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, not only did I learn a lot, but I, you know, it, it benefited me a lot, you know, to just be able to go out there, not to just help conquer that fear, but you know, for so many other reasons, all right? But anyways. All right, as you guys can see, I've been standing here for a minute. That means I'm at my, I'm at, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm at my destination already. So what we're gonna do now is just bring this baby, bring this sucker all the way full circle back around uh, and bring it back to an end. All right, sorry. Man, I'm really sweating. It's really hot and humid. It's uh, even though it's early in the morning. But anyway, guys, you already know the, the deal. I wanna give a shout out to all my patrons, but I really wanna give an extra big shout out to all my new patrons. I've been getting a lot of new patrons. I've been getting a lot of new contributors, um, whether it's um, a few bucks through PayPal, a few Bitcoin, uh, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, I just wanna give you guys all a big shout out and then say thank you so much for, you know, again, just helping keep this thing alive. You know, helping put food on the table so that Lambo um, doesn't eat my shoes and socks anymore. And just, you know, again, just a big, 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 big thank you. And <laughs> sorry about that. Camera turned off, overheating. You already know the drill. Guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, please stay awesome. Please, you know, I hope this gets you guys going for an awesome Monday and an awesome week. And uh, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, rest of your week, rest of your everything, all right? I fucking love you. You guys are the best. And I'll see you guys here every single day on my channel for all kinds of content. But again, you know, check out my Cuba videos tomorrow. See you live on Wednesday. See you Thursday. See you Friday. See you every day. And um, if only you see you on Monday, well, I'll see you next Monday. Okay, I'm here. This thing's turning off. Love you guys. Again, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, and uh, please stay awesome. Love you. See you guys manana. Bye. Never settle. Never settle. If I could just change your perspective, if I could just get you to realize you have a whole nother life to live, I need you to understand something. You have so much time. You as 50 year olds are gonna live dramatically longer and healthier than your parents and grandparents generation. So you sit here at 50 and as a child what you grew up with you start realizing like ooh where am I in my life? Middle, tail end to middle. It's hard for somebody who's for 30 years gone a certain blueprint to understand that this is that realistic and they feel like it's a young man's sport and it's just not. Like 
It's just not. But what blows me away is how many of you have decided that you're finished. Dwelling on the fact that you didn't do it in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s actually means nothing. You start settling in to this is my life, this is how it played out, I could have, I should have, and what I wish is that you know, why am I making this video? I'm probably making it for my 50 year old self, so, hey Gary, 50 year old self, yeah, you used to have hair. Nobody cares if you're 40, 70, 90, alien, female, male, minority, the market, the market, not an individual person in your world, the market will accept your victories if you're good enough to have a victory. There's so many people that truly are good entrepreneurs or have entrepreneurial DNA, but they just weren't lucky enough to be born during an era that that seemed practical. It is super appropriate for you to start that business that you've always wanted right now. Educate yourself on the new world. Yes, you didn't grow up with Instagram. I didn't grow up with this shit either, but I figured it out. You figured out how to drive, you figured out how to be a parent, you figured it all out. So many of you watching this have 40 full big years. Think back to when you were 10. From that moment till right now, all that life you've got on the back end. If you've got the right DNA and you're a 72 year old female, you have just as good of a bat as a 27 year old dude. Start representing the people that actually put in the work, the gray hairs, that, that context, that knowledge. Start deploying that. This isn't just for the kids, my friends. This is our opportunity as well. If you're 40 or older, it is your time to stand up and take advantage of your life because there's so much left of it. This video is made for one reason. I want it to be the calling card, the seed of the explosion of the 40 to 80 year old entrepreneur in our society. Psst. You have a lot more time than you think.